Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Nighthawk Lighted Gators. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. When we were getting ready for our elk hunting trip last year, I knew that I was gonna need a pair of gators. So when we saw these Nighthawk Lighted Gators at the NWTF convention last year, they looked pretty awesome and I knew I wanted to give them a try. The folks over at Nighthawk Footwear were kind enough to send us over a pair to test out. We used them the whole week. We really put them through their paces. So I'm ready to tell you what I think. Let's review this thing. Now there's one main feature that make these different than just plain gators, and that's the lighted function we'll talk about later. But we're still gonna go through all the facts. The first part is fit. Now there are a few different models, but I'm really just gonna talk about the Cahuttas. These gators actually come in five different sizes from small all the way up to 2X which is pretty cool because with a lot of our testing that we do, kind of accessory gear is very limited in sizing. Now, even though I am a smallish person, I have some pretty big calves right around about 15 and a half inches and I wear a size nine shoe. So I went with the mediums and I would say they fit me perfectly. I was able to tighten it enough around my calf to be snug and secure. And I was able to tighten this bottom stirrup strap enough so that it covered my shoe, but didn't go up like past my knee. Robbie wears a size 10 shoe and has a bit over a 17 inch calf. So he went with the large and he would also say that large seems to fit him perfectly. We only tried those two sizes, but I would assume with so many options, you should be able to find one that is gonna fit you really well also. So because of that, we're gonna have to give fit a five out of five. Now are the Nighthawk Glided Gators as advertised. The first thing that Nighthawk advertises is that they are the only lighted gators on the market. Now, I don't know that I can prove that's completely true, but I did a quick search on the internet and couldn't find another pair anywhere. So I think these gators have a really smart design. There's a little compartment on the top and the front where that LED sits very securely. And you just press the button to control it, which is easily done even with a glove. It has three settings, bright, medium, low, and then the fourth push turns it off. In addition to the white light option, they also have red lights available. So if you wanna go a little bit more stealth mode, you can do that too. Now I will say, because it is a pretty easy push button function, if you should happen to maybe fall down, like say on the side of a mountain in the snow on your knee, then you may want to just look down and see if you've turned it on. The LED lights are rechargeable. They just plug right into a USB port, so it's really easy to do. Now, as far as battery life, they claim you can get two, four, and eight hours on high, medium, and low, respectively. Now, with this design, they also advertise hands-free lighting without blinding each other. So you've been there, you look at your friend and it blinds them, they blind you, it's a whole fun game. You are able to illuminate your path without that light being right in somebody else's eyes. I also like that you don't have to look down the whole time to see where you're going, but there are times when the location of the light can be a bit of a limitation. One morning we were climbing a very, very steep hill and the light was actually kind of behind me and I needed to see what was up and above me. So there are instances where you would need a headlamp as well or instead. These can also help with just general safety. So like say you're climbing your ladder stand, you can see more than just what your head is looking at. Overall, I would say they do exactly what they claim that they should do. So because of that, we're gonna give, as advertised, a 4.9 out of five. Now onto construction and durability. The Cahutta Gators are made from 600 denier polyester Oxford with a polyurethane coating, making them briar proof and waterproof. I can very much attest to both of these things. For over half of our trip, we were hiking around in six to 10 inches of snow that was clearly over my boots. My boots, socks, pants never got wet other than maybe some internal wetness from my sweat. I was very impressed with how well these kept all of that dry. We also climbed through some of the just absolute thickest mess of stuff I've ever been through and over and under and these held up great. There was one time I slipped on a snow-covered rock and kind of just scraped my whole leg down the side of it. I ended up with a bruise, but there were no scratches, and I know without these, it would have definitely torn through my skin. Another piece of construction is that the Velcro is very, very sturdy. Once I got these on, they never came loose. I never felt like I had to readjust them. 
The only negative to that strong Velcro is that it does have a tendency to pull some of the fabric and the threads, but it doesn't affect function and you can just easily trim those off. The stirrup buckle is metal, so it's very sturdy and holds its place well. And the stirrup is also attached to a quick release buckle. So if you don't wanna use that at all, it's really easy to take off. But one of my favorite features about the stirrup that I didn't even know was a thing is that these are freeze proof. Our friend wore a, a different pair of gaiters the first day and he ended up constantly trying to knock snow and ice off of the bottom of his boots because it just kept caking up on that stirrup for him. We didn't have that problem at all. Not only that, but it maintained its pliability as well, so it stayed very comfortably in place the whole time. Another piece of construction is I would say it is very important to follow the directions on removal of the gaiters. On our like sixth or seventh day of hunting, I was really tired and used this top tab to try and take the whole gator off. So when I pulled, I pulled pretty hard and it unfortunately took the seams out of the bottom of this flap. Ideally, they don't intend for you to use that flap to take them off. You just loosen it there and then remove the rest of it from the bottom. Now that did not affect the functionality. It still stayed in place just fine, but do keep that in mind when you're removing them. I will also mention though, after speaking to the guys at Nighthawk, they got to work immediately and started trying to figure out ways to make sure that didn't happen because they'd heard it from one or two other people. So I'm pretty sure they've reinforced that stitching even further for people like me who can't follow directions. Overall, we were super pleased with the construction and the durability of the gaiters, other than that issue with those seams busting. But like I said, they've already gotten to work on trying to make sure that doesn't happen. Plus, they have excellent customer service and sent over a replacement pair very quickly. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give construction and durability a 4.8 out of five. And now onto testimonials and reviews. Right now, you can only buy these gaiters from the Nighthawk Footwear website. So that's where I got all the reviews. And there weren't a ton, but pretty much all of them were very positive and I really didn't find any complaints. So if you have a pair of these gaiters and you have any critiques, then just comment below and let us know what those are so everyone else can know. But you know what we do? We tell you the score we found. So for testimonials and reviews, they get a five out of five. Now, finally, should you buy this thing? So here's what I would say. Even beyond the lighted function, these gaiters served us extremely well. They kept our feet dry, they kept debris, rocks and stuff like that out of our shoes. And they also, as I mentioned, protected my leg whenever I fell. Then you add in the functionality of that hands-free lighting and we were just really happy with these. Now I'm not gonna wear these if I don't need the gaiters. If I just need a light, I'll stick with the headlamp. But if I'm in a situation where I need leg gaiters, then these are a really nice piece to have. MSRP on the Cahutta gaiters is $65, and for $10 more, then you can get both the white light and the red light. And in case you haven't figured it out, I would say these are well worth it. So if you're looking for a new pair of gaiters, I think you'll be really pleased with these, and the light function is just a super added bonus. So because of that, should you buy this thing? Five out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our Nighthawk Lighted Gators review video. While you're here, like it, share it, comment. Go to our website, reviewthisingtv.com. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Go Wild, and Pinterest. You can also find our Amazon storefront and our hauler store if you want to support us with some affiliate income.